All right, guys, this is the Ken Gogoi technical analyst of Allies Group. So, in this video, I'll discuss about zinc. Now, you can see this is zinc and the daily time frame. So, uh, according to the moving average crossover, uh, zinc is running in a downtrend. So, now we have seen 50 moving average still running in uh, below 150 moving average. And if you want to see, According to the projection method, uh, here we have seen almost the same lower low, and then now you can see uh, in a daily time frame, you can say double bottom are there. And after that, price just uh, retraced toward this area, there are multiple rejection, right? And they are not able to break this point. Here we can see almost triple top are there here, and price again drop down. And create next uh, bottom and price is reverse pick and now they're creating higher high and a higher low from this area right but according to the moving average still running in a downtrend by seeing this uh, by uh, price action method uh, here we have seen in this area so still price is running in a uh, downtrend right so why so they are still not able to create previous wave so this is a large wave and right now whatever we have seen all wave are in between this previous various wave so this is called territory right in this territory so that is why we are confirming that price is running in a downtrend so rule is that in a downtrend we will looking for only sell right let's check it in a four hour time frame how is it look like now in a four hour time frame uh, i can see here after uh, hitting this area like uh, now you can see this is double uh, top was there and price in reverse back right and we have seen this the area of territory and when they are creating this higher high or higher low but they are not able to break this territory right still they are uh, after is not valid remember and in my previous video i told when price is approaching this resistance line around 186 look uh, the candlestick behavior so first we have seen this is a large candle after that followed by a small candle and a little more bigger candle but after that a weak candle or you can say dozy pattern right so after that uh, followed by a bearish candle it is confirming that price will reverse from this area so let's uh, let's take a look here now you can see we have uh, uh, we connected previous lower point here support and multiple rejection are there and i connect a trend line this is a diagonal trend line and then now we have seen this is a support right now uh, if you want to buy in this area and if you are expecting that the market will reverse from this area so i think uh, it is very risky why now you can see here uh, this is key level this is called supporting area because we have seen uh, two or more multiple rejection from this area and exactly we have seen uh, what is that this is uh, 100 exponential moving average act as a support so price was bounced from this area price multiple bouncing from this area that means 100 moving errors so now 100 exponential 100 moving errors are acting as a support now let's check it look and i connected this horizontal line sorry diagon diagonal line right so let's take a look here why why i'm not going to take buy here let me tell you right so let's check it when uh this price is approaching this key level that means this supporting line look the market behavior we have seen weak candle here followed by a large candle 
following by a larger candle what what is the meaning of that that means the seller momentum are still controlling right they are defeating the buyers all right so that is why it is a high probability to break this area that is why i'm not looking for buy here remember and in between this four hour if price push up and they create like that hammer pattern in this candle i'm talking this candle uh, before they close uh, uh, in four hour right in this four hour candle right if they now price is here right if price push up and close like that if they form like that so i'm ready to buy right but in this four hour if price close in this area so it is a high probability to break this key level right okay now you can see most of the people are thinking here here we have seen large candle followed by a smaller candle right so it is a probability to break this level now you can see next candle how they are appearing they lose their entire momentum which is bearish momentum was there but in this candle we have seen they lost their momentum after that we have seen prices pushing upside so that is why you must wait for the uh, sell right to let them break this line right okay so let's uh, jump to smaller time frame how it should look like and what trading strategy we are going to use today okay it is look like that right so very different look like that price are moving very fastly i think yeah they're running like that so now we can see here multiple rejection are there multiple rejection 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 so if you wanna uh, take sell position you cannot enter here right now you cannot enter for the sell right so you must wait to break this level once they retrace it will follow some moving average like that moving average will be one moving average are there hit what sell right now most of the people are thinking here can i buy here by using candlestick pattern that is the important thing can we buy here again by using a uh, candlestick pattern for up to this area but according to me i'm not interested to take any buy position in this area instead of uh, prices are forming this above the supporting level why because in four hours we have seen there is a huge momentum candle right it's a high probability to break this level all right so both should be matched that will be a high probability trade because if here uh, uh, form any bullish candlestick pattern if you want to buy somewhere here uh, problem is that because in a four hour time frame there is a uh, massive um, bearish momentum candle are there right that is why i'm not interested to buy here so remember once they break when they will retrace i start selling from this area so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.